All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all are doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that run. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on a narrow straight gate path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciate it, take it one day at a time. Most definitely, y'all, let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes in our back, and a roof over our head. And let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out, guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evening, getting us through the nights. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God. His word, his only begotten son dying for our sins. There's so much things the Lord has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his mercy endures forever. Amen. So always stay thankful and always praise him through it all, people. Hallelujah, y'all. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Let us constantly pray for each other, comfort each other, support one another, intercede for each other, all those good things. Brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world, let us be on one accord for the Lord. Amen. Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth, all the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and ministries out there with the sound doctrine, the fellowship, the gatherings, the love and the harmony. Much love to all the martyrs before us, the current martyrs and the future martyrs as well the brave courageous isolated believers out there who again persecuted going through it for the gospel and the faith much love to all of you out there much love to the great tribulation saints down the road much love to all the grafted and gentiles of all nations tribes languages tongues races race, kindreds all over the world any brand new converts god bless you as well all the brand new believers people who just got baptized who just became a believer who just repented all those good things much love to all of you as well welcome all of you Welcome everyone, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all race, all faiths, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted and grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Lord. Sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise him. Rejoice, always rejoice. People make a joyful noise, make a joyful sound. Always cry out to him, express yourself to him, dance for him, do what you got to do, express yourself for the most high, amen. Always serve him with gladness and joy, and always worship his spirit and truth, most definitely. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord God for your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord God for your mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves, and let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back, amen. He has come back like a thief in the night and a twinkling of an eye. He has come back at an hour. Nobody knows but the Father. He has come back with them angels and that shout. He is pulling up, people. So stay ready, alert, sober, vigilant. Be watchful. Stay prayed up. Sound mind, power, love. Keep the commandments. Keep the word of God. Keep doing the great commission. Keep spreading the gospel. Keep being doers of the word. Let us be washed by the water, by the word. Constantly being washed by the water, by the word. And let us keep our lamps and our oils. Amen. Most definitely. Let the Lord keep revealing himself to us more often through dreams and visions and encounters. In various ways, let the Most High keep revealing himself to us more often in all types of various communication ways. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. Let's obey the gospel. Let's obey the law, statute, commandments. Let's obey all of God's word. Anything the Most High has told us personally according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situations, our circumstances, our future, handle that, people. Any task or responsibility or assignment the Father gave you, handle that, y'all. Amen. Praise him, y'all. All right. So in today's message, we will just go through today's Bible reading, then we'll go through recommended reading scriptures, and then we'll go through the commentary. And then from there, we'll close out with a prayer. We'll close out with a priestly blessing, and we will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise His only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. So we'll just go through. Here we go. Today's Bible reading is Proverbs chapter 9, verses 1 through 18. Recommended reading scriptures is the book of Job, chapter 28, verses 20 through 28. The book of Proverbs chapter 8, verses 1 through 11. The book of Proverbs chapter 15, verse 14. And also the book of James chapter 1, verses 5 through 7. The title of this commentary is Dead Folks Don't Bleed. 
this commentary is just based around wisdom and life and going about certain circumstances, all right? So here we go. The psychiatrist had a new patient on the schedule. When the man entered the psychiatrist's office, he stepped and stood stiffly by the counselor's desk. The psychiatrist invited the new patient to sit down, but the man replied that he couldn't. I'm here against my will, he explained. My family thought I should talk to you about my problem, but I don't have a problem because I'm dead. The psychiatrist observed the patient for a moment and then asked him, do dead people bleed? Rather quickly, the man answered, no, it's impossible for dead people to bleed. Immediately, the psychiatrist pulled a needle from his desk, drawer and stuck the man's arm a tiny dot of blood appeared well that's interesting the patient said that people do bleed nothing ruins a story more quickly than explaining it in this case however the point of the story trumps the story itself the patient's own answer provides an example of this folly of his folly instead he instead he had answered that's interesting i'm bleeding so i must be alive his answer would have provided an example of wisdom although it would have made for much less of an interesting story Solomon gives us another perspective on wisdom and folly by portraying them as women. Look at the differences between the two. Wisdom prepares a meal for her own. Folly steals hers. Wisdom serves wine. Folly steals water to serve. Wisdom sends servants to invite guests. Folly stands at her door loudly and profanely calling out the people. Wisdom urges those on the wrong path to walk in the way of wisdom. Folly urges those on the straight path to hop off and follow her. Wisdom's invitation leads to life. Folly's invitation leads to death. Most of us see clear distinctions between wisdom and folly. However, have you ever made what you thought to be rational decision only to realize later that it was misguided? When we reflect on these kinds of decisions, we often discover that they're based on feelings, emotions, bad advice, anger, or spite. Some of these words make pretty good synonyms for folly and contrast. Solomon reminds us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Verse 10, when we grow closer to God, he makes the differences between folly and wisdom clear for us. Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. Have you ever made a decision that seemed right at the time, but turned out to be a completely wrong? Looking back, how might have you changed the way you would you have changed your original decision? What situations have you been in that seemed wise, but that God later revealed as folly? How was your understanding of wisdom changed as you've become closer to God? Amen. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding, discernment, guidance, all those things are extremely important in these times that we're in. Okay, so everything we do, we always keep God first. We always check it with the most high. We inquire of the Lord. We have to stop doing things out of impulse and lack of self-control and in the heat of a moment type stuff. You know, we got to always stay in that word and always inquire to God and always seek the Father in everything that we're going through. Amen. So that is the commentary for today. Let's make better choices. Let's be more calm. Let's keep God first and let the Lord constantly guide our decisions, y'all. We we always stay fixed on him. We let the Lord lead the way forever. Amen. So let's constantly put him first in all of our choices that we make. Amen. Always stay prayed up, people. So that's the word for today. What I would love to do as I close out is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. So here we go. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel, the God of the Hebrews. Praise the Lord. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Praise the most high. He is the amazing creator, y'all. His only begotten son died for our sins, rose up three days later. Praise the Messiah, most definitely. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the advocate. Praise the Lord, the almighty, true, and living God. Praise the Lord, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessed only potent, the blessed only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, Wonderful Counselor, the Creator, the Day Spring, the Deliverer, the Desire of the Nations, the Door, the Elect of God, Emmanuel. God is with us, eternal life, everlasting Father. Faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the firstborn from the dead, firstborn over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am, that I am, the I am, who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jehovah.